Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I don't know if I'm going to be doing a review because I can't uh, really review it in full at this point, but uh, we got a teaser, a preview chapter of Masashi Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, uh, his new work and it's honestly pretty interesting just from the uh, first uh, few pages that we've seen. It's only three pages uh, overall as far as like story for the chapter. It's a uh, more of a 0.5 kind of chapter. Either way, let me talk about what we saw at the very least. Uh, so first of all, uh, it's Kishimoto's new work. So he's doing all of the story writing and such, but then he also has Akira Okubo. Uh, I don't know whether he's worked with Okubo uh, before on anything. Maybe it's a uh, like an assistant that he had that's now graduated to full on uh, doing art for stuff. Uh, but it's, it's kind of a uh, teamwork between the two of them, which should be interesting and hopefully uh, kind of split up the uh, pressure, I guess, because for a lot of manga artists, it's really, really kind of uh, crazy just doing both story and the manga drawing, and it's just really not a good scene for them. So hopefully this will keep things uh, fresh and uh, light for both of them while they make their way through a brand new story. So the series is called Samurai 8, the Tale of Hachimaru, and it's basically going to be about this little kid. Uh, he wears glasses, and he seems to have a prosthetic arm, and he, well, other arm, uh, he seems to have some, some major health issues, uh, at least, uh, he, he talks about having allergies and needing a cane, uh, he seems like he's pretty bad off at this point. I bet he gets much better, though. Before we get too far into this, I want to just kind of talk about the cover page, though, because we get a, a nice little image of Naruto uh, from Shippuden, or at least older Naruto in general, uh, summoning Hachimaru, and I, I think it's a nice uh, passing the torch kind of situation where it's like, Naruto's there, That's always going. To, he's always going to be special to Kishimoto, but now Kishimoto is moving on to a, a new blood, a new a new kid to raise and mold into a, a pretty decent uh, character, hopefully. So this whole series seems like it's going to be based on samurais and space. And I believe after uh, Naruto ended, uh, Kishimoto said that he wanted to do something a bit more sci-fi or something uh, something that's a bit different from Naruto. So a lot less spells and well spells, uh, but a lot a lot less magical stuff and more uh, technology and sci-fi and whatever. And we definitely see that with uh, Hachimaru and his prosthetic arm and uh, a lot. It seems like some robot stuff. He also has a pet robot, apparently, uh, and it's meows. I, they joke about how, like, uh, they're, they're going to make wishes and Hachimaru asks his pet dog robot thing uh, if he made a wish, what would it be? And... The dog meow meows, and he he basically says, "Oh yeah, I bet you I bet you would want an AI uh, upgrade for you so that you can be more like a dog." And I assumed it was a cat up until this point because we hadn't gotten a good uh, shot of it. And then it's a robot dog that meows. Okay, whatever. Uh, but I, I think it's gonna be a cute dynamic between the two of them. Uh, I do wonder because I imagine the Hachimaru will travel in some capacity. Wonder if the robot dog will come with him. Anyways, the, the entire three pages that we see of this uh, is basically Hachimaru talking about uh, wishing upon a shooting star and how you can't be greedy uh, because it's only going to be up there for a little while while it's shooting across. And then he proceeds to wish for a ton of stuff, including uh, allergies being gone, him not needing a cane, uh, lots and lots of food and stuff like that. But he sums it up into one thing that he thinks is like, you know what? A bunch of this stuff is going to get lost in the star. I'm just going to wish for one thing. And we get a close-up of his face, and he goes, I want to be a samurai. And that's the end of the three pages, three-page chapter. Uh, I, I'm, the, oh, I'm overall very interested to see where this goes. I, I think uh, space and technology is something that Kishimoto can do very well. Uh, and if with, with this uh, Okubo guy or girl... Uh, Maybe they can really pull off something special, and maybe this will be the next big hit uh, in Shonen Jump. It's going to be a weekly manga, so they're definitely going to be around a lot. So Kishimoto's back on, on track with weekly Shonen Jump. Uh, so now we're going to be reading through Kishimoto's stuff as long with Oda again. Uh, so it's kind of really interesting. 
Overall, I'm digging the art style. It's just different enough from Naruto that it's not like a one-to-one -one thing. Uh, talking about, uh, I have I have not read it in a very long time, but like Hiro Mashima from uh, Fairy Tale started up a new series called Eden Zero, and a lot of the characters look basically like fairy tale characters, especially the two main characters. Uh, so. At the very least, Kichimoto is keeping things different. I'm sure he has some say in the character design because he's writing the story, and it's just Okubo penning it, uh, pen and inking it. Uh, so, I, at the very least, I think uh, Hachimaru looks very different from Naruto, and the art style is different enough from Naruto in general that it's gonna be it's gonna be a brand new thing. It's gonna be its own thing. At the same time, it's definitely got uh, that thumbprint of Kichimoto on it. So I'm, I'm really, I'm glad that it's going to look good. The manga starts officially on the 12th of May. So I, I'm interested to see that. I'll probably do a review of the first chapter and we'll see how things go from there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, a, I'm really interested to see it. I, I don't know if I'm excited per se, but I'm really interested to see where it goes, uh, what it's about. Uh, seeing the first chapter in full uh, is going to be really interesting because it's like, yeah, we got these three pages, but Three pages are not a whole lot to go on. Uh, I'm interested to see a full chapter and see how things kind of unfold and how the world is uh, beyond just this one location where Hachimaru is looking up at the sky. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the situation at hand with uh, Kichimoto's new work, uh, Samurai 8, The Tale of Hachimaru. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. Are you excited for it? Are you looking forward for Kichimoto get back out on onto the uh, manga scene and do something really interesting and different. Uh, are, what are your hopes and dreams for it, uh, ultimately? So please leave a comment down below. All right, guys, that's all I really got to say about these three pages. I'm interested. I, I'll, I'll keep you posted on my thoughts of how it goes. Uh, we'll see on the 12th of what it's like. Uh, if we'll get a real good look at it. And I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.